Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are doing a top 10 video of Lorac products. So the Lorac is like a high-end brand and I have never done a top 10 for a high-end brand before because to be honest, I don't buy that much high-end makeup, but Lorac I've kind of accumulated over the years and I'm a huge fan of this brand. So I'm excited to bring you guys my top 10 picks, like the best of the best from this brand. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and start off with the face products. So the first thing I want to talk about are the blushes. These are the color source or is that what they're called the color uh, source blushes I think yes I don't know but they look like this and they the packaging is so beautiful I like how you can see the blush inside there's a really nice big sticker that matches the color of the blush on the back with the name and it's a magnetic closure which is awesome um, I have three shades and the ones I have are all matte I do think they have some shimmers in the line though this one is Chroma, and this is what I have on my cheeks today. It's a really beautiful plum. And then they have Aura, which is a really beautiful, like, pinky neutral blush. I love this in the wintertime. I think it looks stunning. And then they have Technicolor, which is a really bright peach shade that looks beautiful with a lot of the fall eye looks and the, in like, in the summertime as well, it looks stunning. So I love this formula because it's so smooth. It's so buildable. It's not overly powdery and overly pigmented to where you have to be really careful, but there is pigment in there, so you don't have to like really scrub your brush or anything. You can just tap, tap, and you are good to go. It is lovely. So I love those. And then I also love the Color Source highlighters. So I have the shade Starlight. I've had a couple other shades throughout my time, but I have decluttered them just because they weren't the right tone for my skin. I think I had Moonlight, which was like a pinky one, and I just don't wear those very much. But this one in Starlight is beautiful. It's the same packaging as the blushes, so you get the nice big sticker. Um, and it is what I have on my cheeks today, and as you guys can see, it is like a bright highlight. But I love it. It looks so beautiful. It's not chunky in the least. It is nice and smooth and a little bit goes a long way, but you can really blend this out if you want a more natural look or like I am today, you can really just build this sucker up and it looks beautiful. So I just like how smooth it is and how glimmery it is. It's not like um, glitter or chunks or anything like that. It just looks really nice and seamless on the skin. So I love that. And then the last face product is their Pro Contour Palette. So mine is very well loved and very beat up. <laughs> um, the mirror is like, I need to, it's past being able to be cleaned at this point. Um, clearly I really love this. I've hit pan on the beige highlight and the yellow highlight. I like to mix these two to set my under eyes. Um, and then you get a shimmery highlight in here as well. And then you get three different shades of contour. I usually stick with the light contour. That is what I have on today. Sometimes I can wear the medium if I'm feeling a little risky. Um, and the deep contour, I can't ever wear on my face, but it really makes a good matte brown eyeshadow. So if you get this palette and you're like, well, there's some shades I can't use, they work beautiful as highlights as well. I like this because it's very uh, user friendly. So even if you are just buying this for yourself and you're not a makeup artist or anything, you can use a lot of the shades in here, which I appreciate because um, sometimes I think that there's just too much of a range like with palettes that unless you're a makeup artist, you can't really use that palette. Where with this one, I feel like you can. Like I can use, let's see, five out of the six shades pretty much, like everything but the deep contour on my face. So I mean, that's a pretty good deal. I absolutely love that. The powders are so smooth and buttery. They remind me a lot of their eyeshadow texture, and they are just absolutely heavenly. They blend like a dream and everything like that, so I love that. Speaking of their eyeshadows, let's go ahead and move on to that. So I didn't just pull, like, the Pro palettes, the Mega Pros, the Unzip. Like, I really thought about, okay, out of all the Pro palettes, which ones are my favorite, you know, I, so I want to have specific palettes in this, this video because there are so many different ones from Lorac and they all have a different color story in them. So I wanted to be super methodical about it. So let's go ahead and start off with the Pro palettes. The first one that I love so much is the original Pro palette. So this is the Pro 1 
I mean, it doesn't get more classic neutral palette than this. So for all the Rocks um, Pro palettes, you get eight mattes and eight shimmers. Eight mattes on the top, eight shimmers on the bottom. They are all that format. I love this one because it's really like a good neutral palette. You get some warm tones, you get some cool tones, you get beautiful shimmers. And something that I appreciate a lot about Lorac is that their shimmers are not all the same formula. So sometimes their shimmers will be really metallic, sometimes they'll be more glittery, sometimes they'll be more subtle, sometimes they'll be more intense. So I like that it's not just all the same shimmer format like or formula. You get some difference in them. But I just love this palette. It is the easiest everyday eyeshadow palette ever. So if you're someone you need a really good basic neutrals palette, I would suggest this one just because I think it's just a classic and you can't go wrong with the shades. Um, some people are like, oh, well, these two matte browns, they look really similar. And they do, but Sable is a little bit lighter with some warmth in there, where Espresso is a true matte neutral brown shade. So it's not the exact same as Sable. Um, and I just, I love all of these in here. I don't think you could go wrong with any of these shades. I think they're absolutely stunning. So I love this one. Another Pro palette that I love so much is the Pro 2. So this one is a little bit more colorful, but it's still very wearable. So you get a plum, you get a navy, you get a jade green, you get this beautiful like nectar shade, which is a peachy color. But everything is still really safe, so you can still wear all of these shades and not feel like you're wearing a ton of color. So I love that about this palette. Some people think it does pull more cool toned than the Pro 1. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that the Nectar shade really adds some warmth. Um, you could pair Nectar with Plum and get a really beautiful like peachy purpley eye. I love all of the shimmers. Again, you get some different formulas. I have hit pan on these two, Snow and Beige. I like to mix these as an inner corner highlight. I think it's beautiful. And so I love that you get some neutrals in here, but you get some colors that are really safe still and really wearable. So I love that one. Again, eight mattes, eight shimmers, same great formula. The last Pro palette that I want to talk about is the newest addition to Lorac's line, and it is the Pro 4. I have a dedicated video on this palette, so I won't try to stay here for too long. If you want to know, like, swatches, how it compares to everything else, definitely go check out that video that I did. But this one, so pretty. They're all really pretty, but this one, maybe because it's newer, but I am just obsessed with this one because you it's warm. It is a lot warmer than any other Pro palette they have put out. Um, I love the red. This gold shade in Candlelight is the best gold eyeshadow ever. It is the perfect tone. Um, I love the shade Merlot. I love this shade over here called Black Current. Everything is really warm and just really rich and beautiful, yet still kind of bright. I think it's a really interesting combo. And I think it's neutral, but it's not a boring neutral. At least for me, I don't think that. I'm a pretty neutral eyeshadow person. I don't wear a ton of color. So for me, this is perfect because I get some reds and I get some warmth and yumminess, but everything is still very wearable and really safe. And that is something I just appreciate for as Lorac for as a brand in general is that everything across the board is just so wearable and they do color, but they do it in a really safe way. Nothing too out there and crazy. They always mix colors with neutrals, which I love. So I just think that they pair things, their eyeshadow palette specifically, I think they just pair them all well together to wear you don't feel like, oh, that's just a colorful palette or that's just a neutral palette. Like, the Pro palettes are more neutral, I would say, but the Mega Pros, which I'm going to get to next, they definitely have a good mix of color and neutral, in my opinion, anyway. So let's go ahead and talk about the Mega Pro palettes. I did choose two, and the first one I want to talk about is the original. So this came out, I think, five years ago. And it was only, like, it was super limited. I mean, people went crazy over it, and they couldn't find it, and it was nuts. Well, then they came back with it, and probably, like, a good six months ago to their website, and now it is available at Kohl's, which I think is awesome. And I love this one so much, you guys. I did get this um, this year, for sure, but it is just so good. I love this deep teal shade down here. It is just so yummy and delicious. Today I am wearing this palette. So 
I started off with some camel kind of on the outer transition shade. I have orchid and mulberry kind of in my crease. I have apricot all over the lid. And then I did a little bit of espresso in my uh, outer corner a little bit. So espresso and um, Merlot, which is this shade right here, are actually uh, in some of the other palettes. So espresso is also the name of the matte brown in the original pro palette and then merlot is in the pro 4 palette so i don't know if they look like the exact same actually yeah they pretty much do but you know i mean it's one shade and most people don't have like all of the Lorac palettes but these are just so lovely the mega pros you get 16 mattes and 16 shimmers that's why it's the mega so um, this one is just, I love it because you get like warm, you get cool, you get some, again, very safe colors, you get a ton of neutrals in here. This lilac shade is beautiful. I just find this very wearable, yet still very colorful, and I, the other Mega Pro palette that I am obsessed with is the Pro, Mega Pro 3. I know a lot of people thought this was boring, mine is like very well loved and beat up. But again, I'm such a neutrals person that I really like this. You can find this on HSN. And again, 16 matte, 16 shimmers. Um, I love like the rosiness that's happening in here and the warmth and just the richness of a lot of these mattes. The shade Mist is a really cool like matte light blue. It's gorgeous. Um, and then I love all of the neutral shimmers you get. You do get pomegranate. Glacier is kind of like an icy blue color. Um, olive is like a dirty olive color so you know you get some sort of colors but this is definitely the mega pro palette with the least amount of color in there it is more neutral than any other mega pro and it's just it leans really warm especially with the shimmers like all right here this is very very warm but everything is so beautiful and just for a neutrals lover lover I don't think you could go wrong with this palette I think it's absolutely stunning now, I want to mention Lorac's formula really quick. Um, they're really powdery, and you have a lot of kick up and fallout and all of that stuff. But, a big old but right here, is that they blend like a dream. They blend so effortlessly and so good. If you are someone that struggles blending eyeshadow, definitely check out Lorac, because I think they blend so wonderfully. So just tap off your brush, maybe even do your eyes first if you're worried about a lot of fallout. Um, I love to use the shimmers with my finger. I think that's the best way that they apply. But just tap your brush off and you will be good to go, you guys. They are absolutely stunning. So again, there is fallout and there is kick up in the pan, but they blend so well to where, to where it's kind of like, okay, we'll take we'll take the fallout and the kick back, but they blend so good. So it's worth it. Last but not least, I want to mention two different lip products. So they all three kind of come in this little form here. And I have two shades of one and then one shade of the other. So let's talk about the matte lip crayons first. The one I'm wearing today is in the shade Nude. It's a really nice basic nude shade. And then I also have the shade Mauve, which is a great pink. I love these because they are like a chunky lip pencil. So they don't you don't really need a lip liner with them, but you also like can just fill your lips and the whole thing and it's not going to take forever. Sometimes when I use a lip liner to like fill in my lips, it takes so long and because the pencil's so small, I'm like, this is so annoying. Where with this, you don't even need a lip liner. You can just and you're good to go and it doesn't take long at all. And so I think it's a really good like nice um, like width, like this, the diameter, I guess. Is that what it is? I don't know. The thickness of the pencil there we go, is a really good thickness. I don't think it's too thick and I don't think it's too slim. And this matte formula is actually very, very comfortable. It feels kind of like a cream lipstick, but it looks matte. So I love that. And you can usually find these on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty or Black Friday or something like that. So, uh, but they are so good. Definitely recommend. And then I would say in the last year or so, they released another pencil that was like that, but it was the Satin Lip. This one, for some reason, the packaging is like all scuffed up and the name is all kind of worn off. But this is the shade Pale Mauve. And I love this one as well. So these are the exact same kind of format as the matte lip crayons, but they are a satin finish. So they offer a lot more shine. Let me just like swatch them side by side for you. So there's the satin one. Can you guys kind of see a little bit of shine coming off of that? 
might be hard on camera but then let me swatch the matte one right next to it so like you can kind of maybe see a little difference like when it hits the light I don't know if you can or not but the satin one has a lot more shine to it than the matte one does but what I love about both formulas is that they go on so creamy and they're really full color so when you do get a shiny finish you don't lose any of the pigmentation that you do in the matte version so I really like both of those um, just pigmentation wise and formula wise they're definitely different you know this one feels a little the satin feels a little more glossy a little more creamy on the lips where the matte still feels creamy but it's definitely a matte lip finish so it's a little bit different but I think they're both absolutely stunning just kind of on what you prefer and I just love this chunky pencil format I think it's so easy just to kind of throw on and you're good to go all right, guys, that is it for this top 10 Lorac video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy shopping if you pick up any of these products. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye.